Hi, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer. I'm the clinic director here at the Naperville Institute for Neurometabolic Solutions, located here in Naperville, Illinois. And over the next couple of videos, I really just want to share with you and really make some sense out of some of the, the, the frustrations that you are inevitably feeling when it comes to the management of your thyroid gland. Chances are, if you're not noticing a whole heck of a lot of change since you began taking thyroid replacement, or perhaps, like many people come to my office, you felt good for a couple of weeks or months, and now you're back to feeling pretty cruddy. Uh, that's really why I decided to put this short video series together. And if you watch this video series, these videos, little by little by little, are really going to explain all of the missing pieces as to why you feel the way that you do, and really just what the best approach to, to getting well and getting your life back. Now, I promise you that you're not going to want to miss these videos, okay? And if at any time, you want to schedule some time to talk to me and find out if a natural approach, if a holistic uh, thyroid recovery program is right for you, you can always contact my office at the number listed on this video or at the bottom of this page. All right. So in today's video, thyroid success video number one, I want to say that uh, don't accept that the, your lab tests are normal if you're suffering with thyroid symptoms and you still feel terrible. Okay, That's so important. Don't accept lab tests. Uh, are normal if you're still suffering with thyroid symptoms, okay? Um, if you're newly diagnosed with a thyroid disorder, it may be very frustrating when your doctor tells you that your thyroid levels are really in range or that everything is normal. Yet when you read anything on the internet about the symptoms that you have, the hair loss, the fatigue, the bloating, the weight gain, the insomnia, the migraines, the, the, you know, the irritable bowel issues, everything is pointing to a thyroid problem. So how is it possible that you have all of these symptoms, but yet you're in the normal range, okay? Well, I want to let you know that thyroid lab testing ranges are extremely, extremely broad. Let me first start by saying that there's a whole lot more to the proper evaluation and really the understanding of thyroid function than just running a TSH and a T4. And, and that's really what I see most people come into my office. They typically have a TSH test done and a T4 test. And that's pretty much where it ends. And I'm going to tell you that my own personal experience working with people over the last 13 years, I'm going to say that it's really absurd to think that a person who's suffering with thyroid problems can really be managed simply just by looking at a TSH and a T4. And if you watch all of the videos that I'm going to put together that are be available to you, you're, you're going to see why I can make that statement. Okay. So let's talk about the TSH reading because that's really where it all starts for so many people. You know, you go in, you have blood work done and the doctor tells you that your TSH readings are high or they're normal and that's frustrating. And so when it comes to TSH readings, lab ranges that are anywhere between 0.35 and 5.5 or even 6, depending on the, the lab uh, that's doing your blood work in the state that you live in, are considered normal. Okay, so anywhere between 0.35 to 5.5, okay? There's a lot of numbers in that, in that range there. Um, you fall within that normal range. And if you're like most people, like I said, who come to my office, your prescribing physician has really ordered this thyroid test, which is a TSH, or thyroid stimulating hormone. If you're lucky, maybe they ordered a T4. And if you went to the endocrinologist, the endocrinologist may have even run a free T3 and free T4. But unfortunately, for so many people that really aren't getting any answers to, to what's happening with their thyroid or, or what pattern of thyroid dysfunction they have, that's really where the testing usually stops. And from your treating uh, physician's perspective, if your TSH uh, level is within this very wide lab range of 0.35 to 5.5, you're going to be told that everything is normal and there's nothing wrong with your thyroid. But I'm going to tell you that there's a huge, huge difference between lab ranges that traditional doctors and general practitioners and endocrinologists use and the optimal ranges that researchers in the field of functional medicine, functional immunology, and functional endocrinology are using. Okay, The optimal physiological level, or what we call the functional level for TSH, is between 1.8 and 3.0. And I typically like to see the, that TSH range around 2.5. Okay, so. You're going to want to look at your lab test and, and see if you're in that range. Now, it's only when that TSH now goes above that 5.5 that the traditional medical doctors and endocrinologists are going to diagnose you as being hypothyroid. And at that point in time, you'll be put on thyroid replacement, maybe Synthroid or Levothyroxine, uh, depending on your insurance. 
And uh, at the same time, you might be saying to yourself, well, why is my, if my TSH was high and my doctor put me on thyroid medication, why am I still suffering with so many of the low thyroid symptoms? And at that point in time, most of my patients who come to my office will tell me that their doctors told them that really the symptoms, the residual symptoms that they were experiencing are really just because they're stressed out or, you know, they're just because their kids are at, you know, they have too many kids at home um, and they just need to really just take it easy. And, and so again, when it comes to the range for TSH, I want you to realize how broad and how non-sensitive that traditional allopathic range value is. Okay, there's a lot of numbers again between 0.5 and 5.5. Now we only talked about the TSH marker, but uh, you know what we've just talked about really applies to many of the other thyroid blood markers uh, as well. T3, T4, free T3, free T4. There are there are physiological lab reference ranges, what we call those functional lab ranges, and then there are the pathological lab ranges as well. Okay. So again, you want your thyroid working in the optimal or the functional lab range and not be in that pathological disease range, okay? You also need to know that there are really over 10 different markers or 10 different blood thyroid markers that you're really going to want to have and take a really a look at, okay? And like I said earlier, you've probably had only three or four of those thyroid markers done and have really not had a complete thyroid panel done. Um, I'll be talking about other ten, the other 10 thyroid markers that you must have done in, in, in other videos. So I encourage you again to watch each of these videos over the next couple of weeks. Okay, but in closing this video, Success Secret, keeping it short, I really want you to remember that between 1.8 and 3.0 for optimal healthy thyroid function is really where you want to be. I'm Dr. Hagmeyer with the Naperville Institute for Neurometabolic Solutions. I hope you found this health secret helpful. And if uh, you found it resourceful, please share it with someone that you care about. Thanks so much. Take care.